Incidentally, I was a private pilot, so I have some familiarity with the airspace. It glided over my house, and there was absolutely we saw a, no noise. What I thought to be a kind of a boomerang shape. Four, four, just confirming the water passengers can see this aircraft. Uh, How would you describe the acceleration? Probably the, the speed of, of light. I would go ahead and uh, feel the craft, which was warm. If these UFI, these extraterrestrials are so highly evolved, how come it is that they only address people named Bubba who are hunting and fishing? I'm Fife Symington. In 1997, during my second term as governor of Arizona, I saw something that defied logic and challenged my reality. I saw one, but I don't know what, it just disappeared. And the saucer flew right over him and put down three little gear and landed out on the dry lake bed. Monday, former high-level government employees, military officials, and pilots from all over the world will come together. They'll discuss their own UFO sightings and encounters, and they'll do it at the National Press Club in the nation's capital. This is when we first saw the UFO. This is when the pilots saw the UFO. This is when the military guys saw the UFO. Performing speeds and maneuvers significantly in excess of anything that they'd seen military jet aircraft perform. Physical traces on the ground from the craft were confirmed by the local police. James Fox helped organize today's UFO-related event in Washington. He directed the film Out of the Blue. The official position from the Air Force is that they terminated Project Blue Book in 1969, and there have been no official investigations since then. We have not been hiding anything. They are simply following orders. Don't rock the boat. Play it down. Cool it. Ma'am, I have no reason to believe that they're real. Thousands of witnesses now, which can confirm that indeed they saw uh, activities which cannot uh, be related to uh, terrestrial activities. It's not going to be, as I say, disclosure with a big D. Right. It's going to be disclosure with a small D. If the government's announced, well, there are, the unidentified objects are real, people would panic? Uh, I cannot say yes, but I cannot say no. Why do you think the Air Force doesn't want this out? I wish they would. Uh, if the Air Force is listening tonight, why don't you tell us the truth? There are people who said they saw things, and whenever that happens, it, they deserve the, at least an investigation, it seems to me. Uh, I think it's time to open the books. It's time to find out what, what the truth really is that's out there. It went at a 45 degree angle away. We ought to do it really because it's right. My response was we could land all 40 of our B-2 bombers on the wing of that craft. We ought to do it because the American people, quite frankly, can handle the truth. I know what I saw, and I get very upset, and I would, was wondering why they won't find out what it was. And we ought to do it because it's the law.